Hey guys, and here we are back with another video. And today to take a look at the latest machine from Yugos. This is the AM6 and it packs the latest AM Logic S922X. This is the second machine that we test here on the channel with this SOC. Now, starting very quickly with the build quality, this is a well constructed box as usual from Yugos. Actually, from all the machines that I've tested from this brand, I don't recall a machine that was not well built and this is the case it's all a metal enclosure really nice no complaints at all right over here in terms of connectivity in my opinion it has everything that i require i'll show you guys a few images right over there and in terms of specs besides the am logic s922 x which is the latest sock from am logic and my favorite sock for this kind of machine at this moment it also has two gigabytes of ram and 16 gigabytes of flash storage with android 9. for those of you that will say hey robert but we have seen on your channel four gigabytes of ram and 32 or 64 of flash storage all true but do we really need it because we have done in the past some tests regarding ram 2 gigabytes is what we take the advantage, although I love to have more and for uh, it's great, but we will not take advantage most of the times anyway. So if we can save some money on these two, great, because the flash storage, it's easy to uh, go by. We just need to insert a nice micro SD card here, right over here and expand the storage and we can install all the apps that we want. So in my opinion, more than enough. And if we can save, like I said before, some money, then thumbs up for Ugus for having this balance in mind. Now, regarding the launcher it's a clean launcher unlike some machines that we have seen in the past from Yugos where they have a very elaborate launcher and so on and so forth this time they decided to leave a clean launcher and actually this is what I tend to use on all my machines if you check my uh, all my videos I tend to ignore the launcher that comes in with a very few exceptions but I tend to ignore and just install a clean launcher like the one that Yugos has right over here and then install my apps my wallpapers clock and weather and widgets and so on and so forth so it works really really nice and one very interesting feature right over here is that besides the usual options that we have on Android Yugos also designed their own options and there are a few interesting features that I'll show you guys I'll share with you on the screen right over there like the root option I can just with a click of a button have root enabled on this machine which is great and then I've got something which is really nice which is the creation of a file server and I can use this machine as a network attached storage solution which is just awesome I can also have NFS and SIFS client and this is very useful for some applications now one of which we cannot use which is a plex server but there are other options that we can take advantage of this and we have seen here on the channel a lot of tests regarding this but very quickly for those of you that are not aware is that i can select from a server an nfs or sifs server and i'm talking about a nash a pc or a mac i can just select one folder that it's shared on the network and tell this machine that that folder lives in here so i can use that folder like an internal storage where i can use then for several apps now one of my favorite apps to do this kind of thing is plex server but until we get a plex server option on these machines we will have to wait for a while but this doesn't mean that we cannot use it. and for those of you that will use this is great because it's just a click of a button and that's it and then we have other options like the playback options where we can select several uh, things in terms of uh, hardware monitor it's really interesting because we can select a few things that will appear on the status bar we'll have the cpu usage the ip address and so on and so forth really interesting things and uh, although it's nothing special a lot of small things at the end of the day make a huge difference and i believe that this is what we have on you it's not just another machine with the am logic s 922x which we will see from now on more and more machines they actually spend some time doing differently and these kind of differences will make the difference at the end of the day for the final user that will want to use this or that and they don't want to spend several hours to discover how to they just want to press a button and say on on nfs client on on samba server and so on and so forth really nice numbers geekbench and Antutu. i love to see this sock 
uh, giving this kind of results. And then in terms of network, I was able to get the maximum of my gigabit network over the RG45 connection, Wi-Fi with great results as well. And this will depend on our network. But as you can see, I was able to reach on Wi-Fi roughly 270 megabits per second on download, 200 on upload. And on the disk speed, I was able to reach 120 megabytes per second on reads and 55 on right now one thing that we really notice is that it's a fast machine when we open and close apps when we multitask so no complaints at all right over there but benchmarks aside when we move to youtube for example i was able to play 4k without any issues i did test out on my 4k display and then i also tested out on a 1080 tv downscaling that 4k and the machine behaved really well no drop frames that i was noticing actually i always use the nerd starts of you YouTube app and a smooth video playback, no worries at all. So if you are looking for a machine for YouTube at 4K, no worries. I also tested the mobile app just out of curiosity and the result was similar to what we get uh, in other machines. 1080 is the maximum, but this is a limitation of the application. And then moving to Kodi, uh, I was able to decode everything. Played my movie library that I've got on one of my network attached storage solutions at 1080, MKV, Blu-ray files, high demanding files and playing over the network with no issues at all for this machine because it has a really strong uh, SOC and it also has a really strong network connection. So no problems whatsoever. And then out of curiosity, like I do always, I did test a lot of samples and guys, no issues right over here. 4K 10-bit and 8-bit videos with H.265 and H.264 codecs. No worries at all. It played everything that I threw at it. And as you guys can see on screen, even the 4K 60 frames per second sample from Big Buck Bunny, which usually takes every single machine down, the Yugo's AM6 was able to play that uh, sample and I didn't see any noticeable drop frame. So I would say that it's able to play everything that we will throw at it. The only thing in terms of multimedia playback that I was not able to play, but this is not a surprise for this kind of machine, was Netflix. I did try to install a few versions of the app and unfortunately, and I did include the official app from Netflix, but unfortunately it was not able to, in, well, it, it could install, but it could not play uh, Netflix. HBO, I had the same results. I did install the app, but it would say that it couldn't. Actually, HBO, the only machines that I could play were machines with Android TV OS. So this one having pure Android, I was already expecting not to. But these are the two things that I couldn't play. Everything else, Kodi, Plex, Ambient, so on and so forth, was just a great, great experience. And then finally, in terms of gaming, I would say that we can play anything that is available on the Play Store. I did try Lineage 2, and you guys will be able to, with the benchmark results that we've seen here on the video, and also uh, comparing with other machines, you will be able to take an idea of what we can do with it. And the graphics were not at the maximum, but I was able to get a great experience out of this game. So if you think about other games like Asphalt Extreme, Asphalt 8, Asphalt 9, and so on and so forth, this machine will be able to rock all those games. Now, wrapping up, if you ask me, hey Robert, what is your favorite feature right over there? I have to say that it's the file server, which is very, very easy to use. And I think that it's a bonus, a great bonus for someone that wants to share the content uh, with an external drive, for example, and have all the movies right over here without the need to have a NAS unit, which is what I do, then this is a really nice add-on that we have right over here. Guys, this is it. Hopefully this video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget the usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.